Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Lads. So in this video, I want to demonstrate self-application of the SWAT tourniquet. So this is a superb, low-profile, ideal for EDC uh, tourniquet, which has a wide uh, variety of applications. I've done a separate video on this, so be sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, yeah, so let's talk through a tourniquet. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to apply a tourniquet to your arm. Um, people are trained differently. I have been trained to wrap high and tight, so that is what I'm going to do. So, when do you apply a tourniquet? So, you need to know that a tourniquet is a last resort, maybe that's not the right word, um, but it's not the first point of call. The first point of call you're going to want to do is to apply direct firm pressure. If it's a major arterial bleed and the bleeding cannot be controlled through direct pressure and elevation, then you need to use a tourniquet. If the bleeding is severe, that might be an idea to quickly put a tourniquet on, wrap it up tight and slow that bleeding down. Then that allows you more time to really inspect the wound, to pack it if necessary and use direct pressure. And then slowly release the tourniquet uh, and see if the direct pressure and wound packing if necessary can actually stem the flow. If it does then you can just release the tourniquet and allow that person a more chance to actually save their arm. Um, because although tourniquets do save lives every single day across the world, there is a strong chance that if left on for too long, that the extremity can actually be lost. But I'd rather see my family than die, basically. So I can live without an arm. I can't live without blood. So that's enough of that. Let's demonstrate some solo self-application. So if in the heat at the moment you forget the instructions on how to use a SWAT tourniquet, they are written down across the length. As you can see, stretch, wrap and tuck. This tourniquet, if the ovals become circles and the stripe, stripe and diamonds become squares. So, sorted. Okay, that's how you want to stretch it. So, self-application, I have a major arterial bleed to my arm, which cannot be controlled through direct pressure and elevation. I'm going to put a tourniquet on before I bleed to death. So, I'm going to go high and tight. I'll go a little bit slower so you can actually see what I'm doing. So you can actually use your tooth to hold it real quick. Done. Okay, so now it's basically locked in place now just through one half turn. So now you really want to be applying the pressure. So, as the instruction suggests, you want to stretch, wrap, and then stretch and wrap again. So pull. Very good, keep going. And what you want to do is you want to keep that width of the tourniquet there. So if you make it really thin, it's not going to compress those blood vessels and those veins. My arm is going numb already, so I'm going to carry on. So I want to stretch, wrap, and then stretch and wrap again. Okay, so now I've come to the end. I'm going to now tuck. Tuck it in there. It's harder to do with one hand. Oh, but it's definitely doable. My arm is going numb. <laughs> so you know how tourniquet works when it hurts. Um, and yeah, that's working. So I'm going to take that off. <laughs> okay, so to release, find the tucked end, pull it out, and then slowly unravel. Boom. Oh, I'll get that blood back in my arm. 
that's pretty simple I'll do it again just so you definitely get it so again high and tight wrap it round I'm going to do it without my teeth this time so I'm going to pull it round and I'm actually going to tuck it underneath the swat itself and it's quite uh, it's quite it's the rubber kind of holds it so it doesn't slip around too much so now it's somewhat locked and I'm going to start the stretch and the wrap process so I'm going to pull stretch and wrap so I'm going to pull stretch and wrap arm is going up again <laughs> pull and stretch there we go so I have stretched I've wrapped now I'm going to tuck that is secure my arm is going numb once again because the blood has stopped flowing happy days SWAT tourniquet get on it practice it train with it carry it and be prepared to save people's lives thanks for watching stay safe keep that blood inside you as much as possible ha ha and I'll see you soon Ooh.